After ten days of competition, the Hong Kong team scooped the Snow Polo World Cup title for the second year running. China View's Nikki Aron was there. I'm here at the Snow Polo World Cup in Tianjin, where players from nine of the world's top ten polo playing nations have battled it out for the championship title. After the success of last year's inaugural event, the Snow Polo World Cup returned to Tianjin for 10 days of competition. From January 25th to February the 3rd, 12 top teams from countries around the world, including Argentina, Brazil, England, France, China, South Africa and the United States, gave their all to vie for the 16 gold championship at the Tianjin Golden Metropolitan Polo Club. The 12 Polo Associations represented at this year's event have long and distinguished traditions dating back more than 100 years. Terreira, what a game, what a match, what a tournament this man has had. Backhand shot from Musso. John Fisher is there, Musso comes around. Fisher gets the best of look, look at Musso. He's looking at the umpires, but nothing, nothing coming there. The umpires running out of breath. Backhand shot. By uh, Balzada turning it around. Fisher is there taking it off of Hong Kong China. Here they come again, ladies and gentlemen. Hong Kong China, but Tito, look at it. He leads away out from the pony. Stops the play and turns it around. And now he had a bit of a stand still. As backhand shot from Inchowski. Again, Blue Shoes. These players have to have a team running with them. They've got to have someone to pass to. And you see what happens when they do. There's the pass. Up for uh, Musso. Musso can't make a play, though. It's picked up by Torreira. Around the come. And it's a little backhand shot. Picked up now. Fisher and it's come down on the sideline. Look at them, ladies and gentlemen, how close they are to you. Johnny Fisher. Look at that. Right up close. Oh, he's got it. He's Jason Dixon wants to move six horses across three yards instead of moving himself across three yards. That's okay, though. He's a challenge. First bell. 30 seconds in the chuck-up remaining and we have Hong Kong China one goal at the moment to the goal of Torreira comes away with the ball and it's going to be Fisher backing up now Fisher launches the ball down in front of Torreira they don't have much time left they know they're going to have to make the most of it it's turned around by Torreira over the top now the backhand doesn't come off and it's going over the back line and we're going to see time In the final match Argentina oh, lost out to China's Hong Kong the reigning champions We caught up with the winning team as they celebrated their victory. I think we've had a good week. We same as last year. We started started good the first game, second game was a bit wobbly, and we came good for the final. So it was yeah, no, it's been a strong week. So uh, yeah, good. Is this what you expected? You expect Hong Kong to take the prize? Yeah, well, I've actually won a bit of money today. Luckily, <laughs> uh, again, <laughs> um, I thought the Hong Kong team. They've got an advantage because they've played two years in a row, a little advantage, but in saying that, the other teams have also got better, like the, the teams from the other nations are, are, have been much more competitive, as you can see by the scores, and these guys have squeaked through on a penalty shootout in the semi-final, and uh, yeah, here they are, so good luck to them. How will you be celebrating? Um, I don't know, maybe we could... Get a couple of drinks. <laughs> <laughs> We've got uh, yeah no there's, uh, the FIP have organised a cocktail, so they're first and then up to Derek after that we leave it to him. Nicky, you're invited, He's please. In six o'clock, six yeah. o'clock, Happy Valley Steakhouse. Sounds good. Yeah. yeah, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The famously elitist sport has grown popularity in China in recent years, stemming from the country's growing obsession with Western luxury brands. The sport's connotation with high society and high-end sponsors is fast attracting the country's nouveau riche. Snow polo used to be something that uh, people didn't focus on in the past because it was a lot more for just for fun. With the opening up of snow polo in China as a competition between nations, uh, the sport has gained in popularity and in terms of professionalism and quality and the athletes are totally focused. So from a federation perspective, we are thrilled to see the level of competition uh, and the level of facilities we have here in Tianjin at uh, the Fortune Heights Snow Polo World Cup.